I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Hi, I'm Luke Ryan for JoeBlow.com and welcome to Top 5 Movie Mistakes. Whether it's Casablanca or Jack and Jill, in every movie, somewhere along the way, someone has screwed up. Star Wars. For most of us, this larger-than-life and mythical sci-fi fantasy series was a once-in-a-generation event. Now we find ourselves in an era where a new Star Wars movie will be coming out every year until the end of time. Rogue One has just blasted onto screens, marking the first spin-off movie, and just last year we had the monumental return of Star Wars to cinemas with The Force Awakens. The Force Awakens brought back old favourites, introduced new characters, and all but broke the wallets of every parent in the world. One of the most anticipated movies of all time, and one of the most profitable, but it didn't come without its criticisms, which we're not really going to get into here. We're here to pedantically point out movie mistakes, damn it! so let's take a look at the license to print money that was and still is The Force Awakens and see how many movie mistakes it holds. Number 5. One of the coolest and perhaps less intrusive callbacks to the original series came when we saw that Rey lives inside the belly of a wrecked 8080. It was a fun little reveal, and as she hears something suspicious, she charges off to action, grabbing her trusty staff along the way. Trouble is, yeah, for all of Lucasfilm's bragging about doing practical effects in this movie, they kind of forgot to digitally add her staff into the wide shot. It's just not there. Number 4, during this scene where Finn watches the Starkiller base destroy an entire system in the sky, the strap over his shoulder mysteriously vanishes. Now this is continuity 101, surely. I mean, arms being in different positions between shots, that's one thing, and we'll get to that stuff. But this is a fairly visible prop, and it just isn't there in the next shot. Number 3, during the attack on Takodana, we see this incredible shot of TIE fighters flying towards the camera against the backdrop of a setting sun. When this shot was shown in the trailers, many thought it was part of this scene where Finn and Rey get attacked on Jakku. But no, it's in this part of the film where the sun isn't about to set in any way at any point. It just doesn't match any part of this scene. And here is the director's explanation himself. J.J. Abrams talking about this shot in the director's commentary. This image actually was based on something that Rick Carter showed to us in pre-production and we just knew we needed to put it in the movie. It makes no sense lighting-wise. The sun looks nothing like that in the rest of the sequence. Number two. Okay, so as we all know, movie mistakes are like the force when it comes to Star Wars movies. They flow through them. And The Force Awakens continues that tradition. There's simply too many to include. But I thought I'd compile a bunch of mistakes for this number two spot that all involve flipped shots. This is where a shot is horizontally flipped around to make the action on the screen flow better and to give the audience a feeling of the direction of the action. I get why it's done, but it appears so often in this film. Here's a few examples. Ray's outfit here is flipped between shots, the direction of the fold in her clothes changing. Her wristband in this scene changes back and forth to different hands. Kylo Ren's mask in this pivotal scene from the film has damage on different sides. And surely this is a place where flipping the shot could have avoided a continuity mistake. Finn's Stormtrooper suit has holes on one side in this shot, then they're on the other side in this shot. When Rey points to the tape she needs in the Falcon, her hand changes to the other between shots, and it doesn't stop there. When Finn crouches down to talk to her, his knees are now replaced with his feet. The inconsistencies are staggering. I can't believe how many there are. I'm getting flashbacks to the prequels. Every single shot in the movie has a movie mistake. And in this scene between Han and Leia, the background is different in every single shot. And I have the explanation for this one too. J.J. Abrams revealed in his commentary that they shot this scene twice. <sighs> I can hear George Lucas laughing to himself now. Eh, you probably should have just filmed it on a green screen. And with that out of the way, let's take a look at one more. Number one. In this scene, Rey fixes an issue with the Millennium Falcon, bypasses the compressor, much to Han's surprise, but take a look at the wires. They're all blue, right? While in the reverse angle, there are now blue and red wires. And then when we cut back, she's holding it in a completely different position. I mean, forget the Force Awakening, someone needed to awaken the script supervisor on this film. But uh, if you do happen to spot any mistakes in Rogue One, be sure to let me know. Thanks for watching.